Hey guys, welcome back. This is Cars and Cloud. In this video, I'm going to deploy Win32 app via Intunes. I'm going to show you step by step how to create Wintune uh, Win file. So here are the four steps that I'm going to do. One is prepare installation script. Two, download Win32 content prep tool. Three, create Intune Win file using the Win32 content prep tool. Four, we're going to go to Intune and create Win32 app. Five, we're going to deploy to workstations. So I have my contents or the installation files on C drive. So here are the script. So I wanted to install this exe first. After ins install exe, I want to copy the config file to C drive program files. And the third step I'm going to install, I'm going to import the registry files. So I'm using the install.bat. So here, as you can see here, it's going to execute this exe with a silent command line. Make sure you have to understand or know what is what your silent command line is. And the second step, it's going to copy the XML file. As you can see, the command line to ins to copy the XML file um, slash y and slash s that means it's going to confirm enforce and silent the third step it's going to import the registry files this is the command line to do that as you can see here i put percent and the um the special character here dp0 that means it's going to look at the current locations to import the registry files. So I got the steps created or the script created. And the next step I'm going to do is, let's see here. So prepare installation script, this is done. I'm going to download Win32 content prep tool. So just have to go to Google and type in Win32 Content Prep Tool. Let's click on the GitHub. The download contents, I mean, the, um, the tool is in GitHub. So just click on that. Click on Code. And click on Download Zip. As you can see, the zip file has been downloaded. I'm going to right cl click and then go to show in folder. As you can see, I downloaded before. So what it does, it's going to, you have to extract the zip file. So I have extracted here. Click on the Microsoft Win32. This is the file you need. It's called Intune Win App util.exe all right so the next step what you want to do is you want to create the let's look at my uh, instruction here so we got number one completed number two is completed we're going to create into win file so i need to right click on this one exe and then run it as administrator please specify the source folder so this is where the your contents lives in this case it's called C colon workplace client I'm gonna paste that here specify the setup file the setup file is install demo dot bat Hit 
enter specify the output folder I'm going to put it under C demo enter do you want to specify catalog folder say no you don't need it all right so now let's check the demo folder under C demo here is install demo dot in tune win so we did number three number four we're going to create win32 app in intune so now let's log into intune here i'm in intune i go to apps i choose windows i'm going to click add App type, I'm going to select Windows App 32. Click select. Select App Package. I'm going to select and click on select a file. And let's go to C Demo. install demo click OK so the package name it's going to be workspace cloud client edit description we're going to change this to install workspace cloud client click OK publisher I'm going to say just put a demo you can put in the real publisher name or you can put whatever you want here category you don't need that this none of these are required you can put in the information if you want as you can see here show this in the feature app if you want to show it in the feature app in the company portal click yes so I'm going to click next installation command line I'm going to type in it is the install demo dot bat make sure you specify the command line the uninstall command line so you need to know the uninstall command line of your applications so in this case, I can look at one of my demo device and it has the uninstall command line. So here is the uninstall command line for this applications. Install behavior, I'm putting under system. Device restart behavior, I'm going to not specify. It does not require reboot, but if you have application that's require reboot you can change that to Intune will force a mandatory device restart and click next operating system architecture if you have both 32 and 64 I advise you select both minimum operation operating system require I'm going to put 1803 it's all depend on your app click next rules format detection rules i'm going to select manual click add i'm going to look for a file the file path is so you have to know the the file path of your applications in this case it is program xerox workspace the exe so if this exe exists so if this exe exists that means the application is successfully installed associated with 32 app on a 64 device you 
can say yes if it's a 32 app on 64 device clients i'm going to leave it as no click ok click next next there's no dependency and i'm going to click next and then create so that's it, step four step five we're going to deploy this app So your app is not ready. So it's as you can see here, it's trying to upload the the file. It's about 18 megabytes, um, 18 megabits, a megabyte. So until that's ready, you cannot deploy. You have to wait. All right, look like the application is ready. I'm going to click on the properties. You want to scroll down you want to make sure everything is correct here you can change the app name change the programs if you have a typo for the install command line you can change that here so in this case i'm going to deploy under assignment click on edit it's going to be a require you can make it available that means the user can install it from company portal or you can push i'm going to push click on add add group the group that i want to deploy is called windows windows 10 group windows 10-10 group select it yes review and save so that is step five so that that all there is to it um, the next thing we want to do is you want to make sure the your test device receive the the installation or the applications it's going to take a while for the device to shows up under device installation status um i would say maybe an hour or two so on your test device actually you can force the device to install i'm going to click on device all device and here is my test device i'm going to let's sync force the sync let's go back to here is my test device as you can see, I don't have the app install. You go to programs, refresh. I don't have the app installed yet. Look at it by view by date. So let's wait about 20 minutes. I'm going to force the sync for now. Let's click on sync. So I will give it a few minutes and we'll come back. All right, as you can see here, the application has been installed. Let's look at the registry. Should be under software. Refresh. System, printer drivers, configuration. I think it's under this one here. Xerox, printer drivers. Here it is. Here are the registry in the command line. As you can see, it has been installed. The next step, we're going to look at the log file. I mean, the, um, the XML file. Driver configuration Here is the XML files. So all three step has been ran. Oops, wrong one. So that's all there is to it, guys. Um, that's how you install or deploy Win32 application in Intune. Thank you for watching and have a great day.